Hi everyone, welcome to my new series, Skincare Rescue 101, and this is my co-host. Hey guys, it's Andrew, and I'm back. He's back, and he is my uh, editor. He's the man behind all my amazing editing for my, the videos. So this series is, I know right, <laughs> Race, and this series is the uh, your backup buddy for all the skin cancer and skin drama, and what else? So if you're definitely a damsel in distress, we have the tricks to impress, which is good because I need a lot of those. Oh, <laughs> me too. I need a lot of help too. <laughs> okay, so today, uh, the first episode, what are we talking about? So we're going to be talking about skincare for travel. Travel! <gasps> and let's go travel together and find a solution for that. Mm -hmm. So traveling, where are you headed to? Well, you go first, where are you going? So, uh, this coming May, I'm going to be going to Orlando for my first time, Orlando, Florida. Oh, that's so cute, I'm going to Paris. That's a nice budget. <laughs> <laughs> so, prepare, you go to Orlando, bring it on, what is your question? So, specifically for me, yes. I get very oily, it doesn't matter where I'm at, so, oil, is a problem for me okay um, and then also breaking out for some reason I don't know if it's because of the climate change or because of different atmosphere or the different air but um when I was in Europe I broke out a lot um, oh, okay. so I don't know if it's a differentiation from okay. the the air or I mean it's so odd because here in California we have a lot of pollution and stuff like that I mean it's beautiful but we got a lot of chemicals here so I don't know my skin is just like adapted to all the nastiness that it doesn't really like do so bad but as soon as I go somewhere else out of California it's like boom you're just gonna look like a I crunch see. bar so the two major concerns you have is the oiliness of the skin and the breakout yeah okay so we're gonna break down to two categories for this first we're gonna talk about oily skin yeah then we're gonna talk about how to deal with this nasty breakout okay okay sounds good to me oily skin yeah. so I'm gonna ask you this real quick be honest okay and by the way this is no rehearse on this one if you if you don't put on makeup or skincare, you wash your face. When do you see oil on the skin? Like in right away or in a couple hours? Oh, so time frame wise, yeah. Um, I would say within a couple of hours, mostly okay. during the day too, because when I'm mostly active, that's when it really starts okay. to take form. Okay. Now, second question: uh, When you wash your face, when you put your makeup on, yeah. When do you, once you put a finish of makeup, when do you see oil and where do you see the oil? <laughs> Two minutes after I apply. <laughs> okay. The other question, if you just put skincare, no makeup, when do you see oil? Um, that's actually, it's a little bit longer, but I feel like as long as I am active, okay. it still happens. Okay, I, have, I, I know the answer now. This is really good for all of us to know that 80% of people think they are oily, but out of the 80%, only 40% true oily. So how do you identify your true oily is, like I asked you, if you wash your face, don't put anything. If you're true oily, you'll get oil almost immediately. If you say you, you don't get oily till a couple hours later, you're not oily. Then you say, when you wear skincare, you get oil a little bit later. So that means it's not skincare. However, when you wear makeup, you get oily right away. The issue is your makeup, not your skin. Boom! There we go. <laughs> I'm taking everything Does off. that make sense? Does that make That's sense? That's insane. Right. Yeah. Um, so, I don't think you have oily skin. And when you wear makeup, you probably want to find an oil-free, oil-controlled face. Mm -hmm. And um, maybe try to avoid using a lot of shimmer. Because shimmer will create more like oily look a little bit on the skin. And uh, if you get oily on the T zone, that is just from environmental. So, so don't think you're oily skin. You have a normal skin. Okay. So we solved the problem, right? Yeah. That's actually easier than I expected. Um, but say that if if you told me that you wash the face, you get oily very quickly. What do you do? The true oily concern. And I want to show you a product will help you to uh, correct that right away. Mm -hmm. When you have a true oily skin, what do you need? You need to add water back to the skin because your, our skin naturally produces oil and water. When we're younger, like your age, I can be your dad. My goodness, <laughs> granddad. 
What? <laughs> just kidding. I'm there goes your. <laughs> uh, we're looking for new editor for my channel. You can reply it below. Oh, <laughs> so your skin naturally produces oil and uh, water, but due to the stress hormone, it causes imbalance. So mm. you need something to put water back to the skin. So this is by Ordinary. Have you heard this brand before? I have actually. Okay, it is a super budget friendly skincare. Uh, it's a Korean brand and it's available at Sephora. And this particular product has a hyaluronic acid, mm. uh, 2% and vitamin in there. So what's hyaluronic acid do is hyaluronic acid is a moisture binder. A minute you put this on the skin, it create a sealer. It will hold your natural hydration and whatever you go ahead feel that. And whatever you put on top, it will grab it and become more hydration. Mm. Um, good thing about well, the I think the opportunity for ordinary skincare is because the price you pay is very inexpensive, so let them put a lot of filler in there. So as you apply, you kind of feel kind of a little bit interesting feeling, right? Yeah, it's silky. It's a little silky, yeah. Um, so, but you will hydrate the skin. So once your skin's hydrated, you will produce less oil. Interesting. So this is gonna be your best friend. And it's funny. very, very affordable. I forgot how much is it, but we're gonna list the price below. I believe it's less than $15 or less. Oh, so you don't need this one? I don't need okay, that Okay, thank one. you. Yeah, you can have it, of course. <laughs> now, we've solved the issue of oily skin. Goodbye, French fry Good. grease. To throw away your makeup, what do you wear? I don't say it. In case it's sponsor. <laughs> um, let's talk about the breakout. Okay, yes. Okay. I have a breakout too. I mean, right now I'm breaking on my skin right here and right here a little bit. Where? There's like a three layer foundation on right now. You can see it. Okay. When you break out, where do you break out most, honestly? Uh, my nose. Your nose. Usually my nose here. Like, I have a little one right here. Strangely enough, my eyelid, there's an actual pimple on my I eyelid. See right it now. Now. It's weird. It's not styled. You sure? No, it's not. <laughs> Wait. And I think it's because if I like tweeze, okay, it usually happens. I don't know why. In grown hair, probably. Yeah. Okay. But <laughs> that or um my I guess cheekbone area. Okay. I get it there sometimes. Okay. Very rarely on my forehead, um, which is weird because I would think it would be a big space for okay. breakouts. But okay. So let's talk about breakout right away. Okay. When you're a young age, such as 21, 22 years old, or even younger, it's a lot just hormone. You're growing and there's a hormones imbalance. And there's really nothing you can do. And in fact, there's no cure for breakout. You do know that, right? Yeah. Everything that you buy out there, you just dry the skin so the, the current breakout disappear. So it, it, there's no cure for that. And, um, and the other thing is that stress can cause that. Like when you stress out, your hormone will be even imbalanced or break out more. And also the other thing will cause is uh, not cleanse your skin properly. Mm -hmm. Do you wash your face every single night, remove the foundation and wash the face? I did it before, but every that's this not is, what I wait, 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 this is not what wait, I asked. wait, wait, this is not a plug, but it's honest, like honest. Okay. Um, I did it before until I started working for you and actually watching and learning from your videos okay and i was doing everything wrong oh okay. i was um i wasn't cleansing deep enough and long enough so there was still residue yeah now i do double cleansing okay um but sometimes i feel like it's not enough so maybe i feel like i need a different product because yeah. i've used and not to say that it's not bad but like i use cleansing clear where okay. i used to um so it's it's something that I feel like needs to be altered for something that's a better result. Okay, so I mean, if you, I don't know, can get closer to the camera a little bit. You can see it, but you're gonna hate this. You have a lot of congestions around the skin, the little bump. Yeah. So those are beneath the skin, and what causes that is probably your makeup, your oil. You're not cleaning the face properly. They're all stuck in the pores, uh -huh. and the oil, because your pores naturally is open. You, I don't know if you know that, so the air can go in, air can come out. But once the oil seal the pores and it causes bacteria in flame. So what you need to do is you need to open up the pores, basically remove the skin. And so oh. any, like I'm going to show you a couple products will help you remove the surface of the skin. So once they remove, the stuff can come out. Then you need a uh, benzoyl peroxide to kill the bacteria beneath the skin. Mm. That's how you get ready to break out on that particular one. 
That's fascinating. It's very cool, right? Dada. I'm not. <laughs> if I'm Dada, I would not be sitting right here, <laughs> right? So let me show you a couple products will help you. Okay. Okay. So I'm glad that you take time wash your face. It is crucial that a lot of beauty bloggers out there, young blogger like you, you guys pack on so much makeup, different contour, different layer. That's all good. The things if you don't remove them properly, they're gonna stuck in your skin. I'll mm -hmm. give you a really good analogy. You're gonna just die, but don't die. I need you. I need you to work. That's right. Did you ever notice that your shower, the way you take shower, the corner of the shower area, what color are they usually? Yellow or sometimes black, really dirty in the corner. You know why they are that dirty like that? Because when you take a shower, those corner areas not really being rinsed by water. So the dirt, the dust, the stuff build up in that corner. So imagine that when you wash your face, and I can even tell how you, I can even see how you wash your face. You probably just do it this way, it's good really fast, right? Yes, no. you do. <laughs> no, really? You don't? No, I do. You know why I can tell, honestly? <laughs> because your construction is all around the corner, not here. So that means you spend more time right here. So you really want to work on the area, including your nose area. Okay. So first product I really like is by Belief. I really like their brand because it's budget friendly. Mm. And this is the Pore Cleanser Bubble Foam. Bubble foams are bomb. Yeah, so if you pull this out. It's gonna pop. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. So what hat we can try on your skin a little bit. So why I like this is that when the when the product start foaming, it's kind of like a double action for your skin, so they can go into the pores and bring out stuff on the surface of the skin. So keep your skin clean this way. So that's oh, the first product. That smells really it's good. It smells good, right? Uh, and not, it's not a Korean brand. I think K Beauty. It's really it's really good. The price is good. I think we need water to activate this. But anyway, it's the foaming cleanser. I mean, I'm not saying you have to use foaming, uh, have to use a bubble cleanser, but anything like this, you can use. And then very importantly, you <clears> want to work on your nose area. Like, you want to count 30 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, five. And I feel like there's a benefit to bubble cleansers because with that air that gets lifted, it's basically pulling out mm -hmm. the, the stuff that's congesting. Yes. Oh. And start a little bit uh, kind of foaming now. Yeah. And the other thing you guys can do is uh, use of a uh, cleansing brush. Mm -hmm. Like um, clear sauna, mm -hmm. or just any cleansing brush you can get because a that's brush. enough. Huh? <laughs> no, 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 that's yeah. And you know, honestly, if you don't have money for any brushes, you can just get a washcloth mm -hmm. and just a very gently massage the skin over that. That also acts as exfoliator, so this will keep your skin and pores clean it's and it will help bubble. you reduce breakouts. See a little bubble now? Yeah, I don't, I don't think that. that I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> no. Okay, let's move on to the next. I don't want to show you. Okay, what is next on the agenda? Next, oh, you have a lot of agenda. So we talk about because we're gonna want to focus on the breakout issues, right? Yes. Um, we talk about the cleansing. The next one we're gonna talk about is toner. Do mm. you use toner? The SK two to, uh, toning uh, clear lotion. Okay, that's good. Uh, do you use your hand or cotton pad? Whatever you are, closer. you are my editor. You just okay, fine. <laughs> okay, so first of all, you really need to use cotton pad because all toner build one purpose: remove residue. That's the number one purpose. And depends on the toner you purchase, it adds different benefits. So I like the ordinary uh, glycolic acid seven percent tonic solution. You guys can see that I, this is almost empty. I do use this a lot. I think this is like eight dollars seventy cents. That is really great. So what glycolic acid would do is to soften the surface of the skin. Remember we said that the pores close? Mm -hmm. uh, this will soften the skin so you have a better chance to unclog the pores. But you have to use cotton pad. So I don't have a cotton pad here now, but you want to pour this in a pretend this is the nasty cotton pad. You put this on here. Um, if you have a breakout area, you put it on the breakout area first, leave it for a few seconds, okay. and you gently massage circulations. That will help to, um, um, I can't focus, uh, <laughs> uncloud, uncloud the pores a little bit. Mm -hmm. So that will help it. And especially if you have a facial hair here, it is very important when the man has a facial hair, you need to follow the hair follicle. Okay. The reason why is if you go against it to apply that, first of all, you're gonna get cotton all over your face. Yeah. And third, second, 
you may cause a long hair. Yeah. So you always follow the hair. When you shave, you should always shave, follow the hair first. You do know that, right? I do know. Okay, great. <laughs> so that's the tonic. And um, any toner can do the work, but I just like anything has a guy call it a second there. It just really clean the face. That way. Hmm, I like that too. Okay, let's move on to the next item. Yeah. <laughs> Since you, we kind of chat a little bit, you don't use, you, you're not like me using attentive as skincare. So your skincare is usually pretty simple. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Or nothing. Hey, consider the that. Back. <laughs> I like the Believe. It's also a Korean brand I showed earlier. Mm. This is the famous product. It's called Aqua Balm. And this is really good. It's an oil free moisturizing gel. I we, we talk about this. You're not true oily, but you do break out due to lack of a cleanser face and um, dehydration. Even though this is oil free, it adds a lot of hydration to the skin. It will help. Mm -hmm. And it feels really lightweight. And yeah. I don't think you want to put something very. Oh my god, smell that. Smell that. Smell that. It smells so good. It smells like a citrus tart, like mm -hmm. some fresh fruit. Fresh I'm Eat hungry. It. You're hungry. Um, <laughs> so this is a great moisturizer. Um, definitely use moisturizer. Any oil-free moisturizer will be good. You can try that. It's really affordable too. So you okay. need that too. Mm -hmm. Let's do a test. What do you learn so far? Oh God. <laughs> How do you determine that you have oily skin? <laughs> so. Depending on how long it takes for your face to go oily after you wash your face, mm -hmm. um, if it's immediate, you definitely have oily skin. Mm -hmm. um, it can also be a cause of makeup. Now, for me, I think that's definitely something that is a huge factor. Um, so maybe the the type of makeup that I'm using is oil based or has some type of oil in it that causes yeah. my face to um, overreact and cause more or create more oil. Um, and then starting to use, I should start to use, I don't even know if that's English or German. Anyways, moving on. Yeah, <laughs> then that's good. That's, I think that's the most important about just identify your skin's conditions. Because yeah. I think what people make a mistake is using the wrong product for your skin condition. You mentioned about travel, right? I feel like we're kind of off the subject a little bit. And travel, you mentioned to me that when you travel, you get more breakout than when you at home, mm -hmm. right? And again, I'm not a doctor, so I cannot tell you what causes that, but I feel like a lot of them is because the, pol uh, the pollution and the stress. And when you stress, your skin gonna just detoxify more. And it just happen to be when you travel, your stress is more. That is, uh, and I see where that can come from because having to relocate from one airport to another, that is very demanding. And I feel like, having to be on a set schedule and having to wake up on time for me i love sleep so me when too. i have to you sleep mm -hmm. i thought you were immortal yeah. the skin is gorgeous oh. <laughs> <laughs> so i have an easy solution for you so you can change the environment you can change the pollution attack you but you can protect your skin from environmental pollution yes let me show you my secret weapons Ooh. this is by ren the skin, uh, clean skin care is called the Flush De Defense uh, Anti-Pollution Mist. So when you up apply this on the skin, it just smells so good, right? Oh, that old lady. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> that's kidding. It smells very floral. Now you mention, well, I'm old, that's what I'm using. <laughs> but anyway, this is an anti-pollution mist. So what it does is a protect your skin against free radical. Mm -hmm. So that I was gonna give you one. I guess you don't want it. <laughs> no, I think I love uh, your love. <laughs> uh, but you can find similar product. The mist has anti pollutions in there mm -hmm. that will put, reduce the chance. That's insane. Mm -hmm. Am I good? I might have to take you in my little like travel bag. Oh, I do travel first class, so it's okay. <laughs> So, um, I hope that this helped you. Very much so, and I yeah. feel like this is going to be very beneficial, not just for me, but anyone out there that has relative skin concerns, because not every product works for every person. Yeah. So, I mean, thank you for giving me like a little cocktail of things that would work for me, and so far I feel like these will definitely lift any toxins from my skin and also prevent anything while traveling yeah so i am very excited and i am ready to uh head over to orlando orlando did you ever watch the broadway show called book of mormon no <sighs> if you guys watch it in a mormon 
most common <laughs> feel because in the, the the main character he's you know the Mormon they they go to different country different states. Yes. His dream is just go to Orlando. Why do I feel like that's me? <laughs> I'm turning Mormon, mother. <laughs> mother. Mm -hmm. um, so good, yeah. Um, so thank you so much. Of course. And um, if you guys love this guy, I put his link below. He is so awesome. I mean, he he's 22. I mean, I live for you. It's like you re-energize me because like I'm 40. I'll be 46 this year. Which is bragging rights because he looks freaking fantastic. And I'm not saying that because he's paying me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I am. We are. No. So, uh, so thank you for all your support. And definitely check out his Instagram, YouTube. We'll put a link below. Wait, can I do it? Can I do it? Do what? Okay. And make sure you follow his Instagram, Skin by Steve Jan, which we'll list it on either side. I'll just do it on both sides since I'm going to edit it. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I passed. You passed. <laughs>